Hi, ever interested in understanding how the economy works but don't know where to start? Well, here's the circular flow model of the economy. The circular flow explains the flow of money, goods and services, and the resources. So how does it work? First, it starts with the decision makers of the economy, the household, the business firms and the government. Then, the two markets, factor market or the market of resources and the production market or the market for goods and services. Before anything else, always remember that cash flows are outside and the resources, goods and services are inside. So now let's go back. Let us first tackle the movement of economy inside or the flow of economic resources, goods and services. A household can be an individual or a group of people that lives in one unit or in a house like a family. The household owns the economic resources such as the land, labor, capital and entrepreneurial abilities. And these resources are the factors of production. The economic resources are then bought or, and used by the business to produce goods and services for the consumption of the household. Now the movement inside is done, let us now learn the flow outside or the cash flow. As the household consume products bought from the production market it goes to the business in a form of revenue from the goods and services they have sold. Then the business would pay rent, wage, profit, and interest and the worker would receive a payment as an income for the land, labor, capital or entrepreneurial ability he, she have sold to the business. As the household receives income, they save their money in the financial market which are then used by businesses to balance and sustain the business. Now what is the role of the government? The government is the one that collects all taxes from the two sectors such as, income tax, business tax, real property tax, capital gain tax, etc. And in return the government provides subsidies to the businesses and transfer payment, to the household in the form of pensions, scholarships, etc. The government is also responsible in expanding trading activities with other markets or the foreign market and business firms also transact with foreign business. And that is how the economic circular flow works of the market economy. Now what is the market economy? So, the market economy is a system where the production of goods and services are based on the law of supply and demand. The business would decide on what to produce, how many to produce, and how much would the product be sold at depending on the factors affecting supply and the demand of consumers. And today, we're gonna talk about three types of market economy, perfect competition, monopoly, and oligopoly. When we say the market is in a perfect competition, there are many businesses that sell the same product. And in this type of market, the price is not determined by individual sellers and buyers but by the demand and supply. What is an example of perfect competition? Consider a farmer's market where each vendor sells the same type of jam. There is little differentiation between each of their products, as they use the same recipe, and they each sell them at an equal price. While in a monopoly market, there is no competition since only one seller produces that product. Restaurants, hair salons, household items, and clothing are examples of industries with monopolistic competition. Items like dish soap or hamburgers are sold, marketed, and priced by many competing companies. And in an oligopoly market system, there are only few suppliers of unique products where products are quite similar yet different in a way. And in this market, sellers can control the prices. Some examples of oligopolies include the car industry, petrol retail, pharmaceutical industry, coffee shop retail, and airlines. In each of these industries, a few large companies dominate. These are three of the many market economies out there. I hope you learned something from today's video on the market economy and the circular flow model of economies. Thank you for watching.